Hey, what's going on YouTube? Elijah Sky here. Uh, today we're going to be doing another RuneScape video. So the last video that I made was during the Treasure Hunter promotion where um, it was a rainbow promotion where essentially the more keys that you opened, you had a better chance of open opening up a multiplier. So that was like actually insane amount of experience. I think with 150 keys, I ended up getting close to 9 million bonus XP, which I primarily use for uh, farming hunter crafting or I'm sorry not hunter uh, construction crafting basically any skills that required uh, uh, any viable skill because I would essentially just cut the time that it would take to level in half it would cut the resources in half the money so um, I was able to get enough bonus experience for 99 farming um, and I, I did the same thing a while back with uh, herb lore and I was able to level herb lore, you know, pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I uh, these are my current skills as of uh, May 8th of uh, 2017. So we got bonus XP weekend, com double XP weekend coming up on the 19th, I believe. Um, I plan on getting 99 construction. I have those uh, planks uh, banked. 99 crafting, I have those dehydes banked. And 99 farming, which I'm not too far off. I'm only 290k away. And we're gonna go ahead and do a farm run in this video, and who knows, we might level. Um, as far as my other goals, I've been trying to train invention. I've been using crystal fishing rods. Uh, I was able to get 50 to 75. Um, what I did was I saved like 15 level 10 crystal, crystal fishing rods and opened them all at once. So I was able to level pretty quickly. So I have actually the crystal fishing rods banked for 99 I just need to level them uh, but yeah let me uh, start off with the bank video here um, you know first tab is always the junk tab uh, just basic range essentials we got the pernix um, the serenic uh, what do we else death lotus and we got our our pouches and our scrolls and our capes and any, any little souls and ring of death uh, melee tab, we got a dry gorse, ring of vigor, tatsu, malevolent, uh, nothing too fancy. Magic tab, same thing, got sea singers, we got, uh, tectonic. Uh, I do need a new staff, I only got a chaotic staff, I need, I th I'm thinking about buying a knock staff pretty soon. Um, you know, I've had one before and I had a scythe before, but you know, I sold it to, uh, for the last double XP weekend, which was only like three months ago, so I spent uh, a couple hundred mil, you know, getting a lot of skills up. Potions, my food, uh, overloads. I gotta make these in the flasks. Uh, summoning. Yeah, I need to get 96, uh, 95 right now. Uh, these are the crystal fishing rods, so th um, I'm 52 away from 90. Yeah, 99 invention. So once I get these all the level 10, um, I'm just gonna open them all at once and it's gonna be pretty epic. Uh, Spirit Onyxes, these are pretty useful in, in uh, training summoning. I got these from the uh, Treasure Hunter. Uh, palm and Magic Saplings. Yeah, so I'll go over my uh, my farming training method in a little bit. Uh, teleportation tabs, it's random items from uh, Treasure Hunter. And loot scroll, and then just a loot tab. Um, stuff I've been collecting over the last like month or so. Yeah, it's not a very interesting bank, but um, you know it works. So yeah, as far as my skills go, yeah, I'm 29 oh 26 oh nine, almost 350 mil experience. So I got about 5.6 mil bonus XP left. Uh, once I hit 96 summoning, um, I'll finally be 138 combat. Definitely need to work on my questing. Uh, I was kind of fo focusing on leveling my skills before I got into questing, but um, but yeah, I'll get into that hopefully soon. Um, yeah, so it was kind of interesting the other day when I was doing my farm run. I was at 12.5, a little bit of, a little bit shy of 12.5 million XP. And I ended up getting this guy. Where is he at? Summon pet? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so I got the farming pet at, uh, before I hit 
99 farming, so that was uh, pretty insane. Um, which is really lucky, because I got my Bandos pet at like 400 kills, and I got this guy at less than 99 farming. So, uh, you know, I think I've been pretty lucky with these pet thresholds. So, um, yeah, so as far as my uh, farming methods go, you know, everybody has their own method. Yours may be better, yours may be faster, but this is the one I use um, since level 80. And I got from level 80 to nearly, you know, I'm only 200 kid on 99 um, in a very, very quick amount of time. Because the reason, I, like I said, I had a ton of bonus experience in farming. So and I was doing constant palms and magic. So it was expensive, but it was fast XP. And I, used, I was leveling, you know, almost every day. It was insane. Um, as far as my setup goes, uh, I have the farmer's um, outfit. I, know, I think I'm missing a piece or so, but um, it's, you know, it gives a, like a 1% or well, since I got three pieces, it's like a 3% boost over here. So it helps, you know, it's a couple thousand XP per trip. Um, got my teleportations for the different, uh, the various locations. Um, I got my saplings and the sign of the porter, which is extremely useful um, when you're picking like the coconuts or um yeah from the palm trees or whatever uh it goes straight to your bank so it saves inventory space so i'm gonna go ahead and equip that i think it uh yeah so it'll transport 20 items to your bank before depleting um yeah so i'll start off with the first farm run here um i usually do uh everything in prith first and then i'll move on uh to the outer ones hopefully my trees are done yeah Hopefully we level, I don't know, we'll see. Alright. So it's about 20k XP. Go ahead and pick those coconuts and see they're going straight to the bank. Dirty tokens. The eight. And another cool uh, thing that I uh, recently found out, um, you can like pay, where's this guy at? compost so you can basically pay this guy um let's say i want to pay for like a thousand super compost up in advance it'll compost all the patches in runescape for you so you don't have to carry compost with you anymore which is extremely useful so you know it's already composted all i have to do is this plant and then on to the next one uh then i go to the wood tree in prif And I don't uh, typically spend time cutting down the tree. I just get the XP and I clear it uh, just because it takes forever to cut these, uh, cut the logs. And we'll go to the Myler clan. Oh, I go north. Here we go. And also got the, I believe a scroll of life that uh, gives you like a chance at um, retrieving your seeds once you, once you uh, clear out your palm tree or a dead palm tree. It's one of those dungeoneering scrolls, which is pretty useful because over the past, you know, since 80, I've gotten at least, I want to say like 50 seeds, which is a lot of money. Let's go to uh, Umbridge. Like I said, uh, you know, I don't know if there's a faster method to, you know, doing these farm runs, but, you know, this is a method that I use since day one and it's been working fairly well. Castle Wars. Yeah, I've been training my Slayer recently too. I mean, it was uh, 85 not too long ago. Um, it's almost 89. 
trying to get that up as much as possible. Um, yeah, I'm collecting those charms, trying to get 96 summoning. Because the Yak is going to be extremely useful in, in bossing and everything. You know, I don't know how I made it this far without one, but I managed. So 168k till 99. Might be close. Probably. And uh, when I was using uh, fishing for invention, I was able to get this training, because I, initially, I, I believe when I started Invention, my fishing level, I mean, I had 99, but my experience was right around 14 mil. So training Invention from level 50 to 75, I ended up with 22 million experience. So, you you know, you're getting a fair amount of experience. And it takes about, I don't know if I said this already, but it takes about like three hours to level to, um, a uh, fishing rod, an augmented crystal fishing rod from level 1 to 10. So, you know, if I was in class or if I was, you know, just kind of doing something that didn't require much of my time, I would just AFK. And, um, it was, uh, it was an easy grind, but, uh, 39, I'm pretty sure we're going to level, um, let's see, I think I missed a, uh, yep. I completely missed the uh, the folly tree. I'm gonna run back real quick. Unless I did it, I can't remember. Yep, there it is. And he's dead, so let's see if we get a, uh, a seed back or not. And I don't pay for, listen, I don't pay to insure my trees or anything like that, because so like 90% of the time they uh they they end up growing so it's not worth it. Alrighty. Go to Barak. And truthfully, I, I totally thought that farming was gonna be my my last 99 because you know up to you know getting from like level one to to that to like 80 was such a grind. It was so slow, but you know, once you get to the higher levels and, you know, you have a little bit of money and you can, um, you know, you can plant all these higher end trees on top of like all the bonus experience. And then on top of that, there was like this promotion with an aura they had. It was, uh, uh, the, uh, the desert, um, Pethian aura, aura or something like that. And you can activate a pulse core like three times a day or something, which was, you know, the XP just was just, you know, it was just flowing in. It was ridiculous. So I was able to get, you know, 80 to 98 extremely quickly. And it's just staying consistent. You know, you can do two, two, uh, two runs of the, the wood trees, um, twice a day or one, one run of the wood trees twice a day. And the palms, they take 16 hours to grow. So you're going to need to do those about once a day. Um, you know, some days I got a little lazy and, you know, we're, I wasn't doing, I know I, I would have had 99, like a couple weeks ago if I, if I actually stayed consistent with it. Um, but I had school and it was getting a little busy, but we are approaching the end. So it's not, uh, not too bad. As long as no more trees die on me, I think we might level. Yeah, so my sound of the portal just depleted, so... But like I said, it saves a lot of room for banking. Um, a lot of time. Go straight to the bank. Eighty. Oh man, this is gonna be close. I don't know if we're gonna level. If it's like 10k shy, I'll just, um, use my Jack of Trade Zara and... We'll go from there.
Yeah, we might be a little bit shy here, so. The only skill I'm really dreading is Hunter. I, I just never got into that skill. I mean, I know, I, you know, everybody's telling me to do Grenwalls and um, I just find it so tedious and boring. And you talk about tedious, man, construction. Like, I have um, the planks the planks and the, the, the hides for 99s. Crafting construction. Crafting is easy because it's just kind of AFK construction. I, I'm doing float on prom brokers, and it really, uh, you know, like ten minutes will go by, and you think like an hour went by, but it's only ten minutes, and because you're constantly clicking, and it's just uh, takes a lot of your attention. So I gotta take a break every like twenty minutes because my fingers are. Oh, there we go. We got a palm tree seed. Uh. Yeah, so that's um very very useful scroll. I wanna put that guy there. Thirty-eight thousand. Yeah, we're not gonna level on this um thing, but we'll use our jacket trades aura and we'll get it we'll get it that way. We have the yeah, back to construction. The float let me show you real quick. The floats on prom bokers. They're um extremely fast i think it only takes like eight mahogany logs or planks to make one but with the bonus xp and everything comes out to like 2500 to 3500 xp per make so it's extremely quick pretty expensive though um and then these are i'm gonna be making black kite shields dragon kite shields dragon shields whatever they're called um Yeah, and then for invention, I'm just, um, I have pretty much all the parts, all the components that I need to augment all 52 of my crystal fishing rods, except the enchanting components. So what I've been doing is making slayer rings because they give you the best odds of getting enchanting uh, components. Um, only problem is it's kind of slow. You have to go around RuneScape and buy all the slayer gems and then actually create the rings on a furnace um or a smelter but uh oh dang it we got a dead palm alrighty well that's all this that was my entire um farm run there so we are, <laughs> of course, 38. Okay, well, man, that bonus XP actually worked down to a T because I'm pretty much on point with uh, what I need for 99 here. So we got 38k XP till 99. I'm trying to see what's the fastest way to get this. Um, you know what? I have an idea. Let's go to Birthrobe and. I think that my my troll invasion thing reset, so I should be able to get I should be able to do the waves and get a book and it'll give me around 70k XP and then we'll level that way. God, every time I get here, I completely forget to bring my bone crusher. Uh, so many bones wasted. It's okay. Alright, level two. And I think the farming cave guy is out in Draenor, Master Farmer. Um, I 
Yeah, this troll invasion thing is awesome to do once a month just because, you know, it gives you a huge, huge XP drop at the end with the, with the book that they give you. And I really need to start bossing pretty soon. I, you know, the only bosses that I've really done are, you know, just the God of Wars Dungeon 1 and 2, um, Queen Black Dragon, things like that. Um, my, uh, my death task is, um, Araxor right now. No. <laughs> uh, the new NXT client always freaking freezes. What the heck? Son of a gun. So this NXT client decided to freeze on me in the middle of the wave so I can get 99 farming. And I cannot do the waves again since I was already in there once. I gotta wait till next month to do this, but son of a gun. Alright, so uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna level today. I gotta wait for my trees to grow again. Unless I get some XP lamps, um, go ahead and activate this real quick. Ooh. Alrighty, well. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, make a, uh, a cutout here and, um. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon with, and hopefully we'll get into farming pretty soon.